Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 10 of my let's play of Fukan no Grassista trial version. Safe and sound. Now that we survived that harrowing ordeal, it's time for rewards. You see, as slave swords, we get rewarded for venturing into dungeons and killing monsters. Entirely disregarding the fact that that valley was purportedly way too dangerous for our low-level ass, it's within the scope of our job, so they pay us. Hehe. <laughs> Oh, this is the reception area, right? Welcome back. That must have been tough. Good job. So, upon returning, we immediately go above ground to this clearing. As he was told to. And the one who came to greet him was the... The receptionist, the woman with the peaceful smile. <laughs> Soft, peaceful smile. Mm -hmm. So before entering into the underground, we saw her once. Jadal remembers that. Good job. It was like all of a day ago. And you are... Alright. Here's her introduction. She is Sheriara Sheriera. Hi one. So she works here as the receptionist. It's it'll be a pleasure working with you, Jedal. When did you learn my name? <laughs> <laughs> I hear in this interception house everybody who's recorded I remember all their faces and names ah that's a talent yeah impressive memory truly and in that case what happened up to now, you should remember quite well. Let me ask you. Why was my stuff taken away? Hmm. So everything was recovered by the Grassista troops when we were brought in. Nothing valuable remained to us. And, and in return, some paper stuff was given to us. Well, that was in order that we could give you um, report stuff. And anyway, in return, you got to properly... You got for the interceptor documents, right? Interceptor documents. It does seem different from regular money. Ah. I guess what he received was proof of... Proof of heroism? Proof of results. And they're called guild points. Huh. Interception result proofs. Apparently, this is something that can only be used in this city. A uh, type of coin. 
I see. This is why the slaves can't escape. No matter how much you earn in this place, once you leave the city, everything you've got with you is just scrap metal. Yeah, that's a logistical way to keep them. Well, you say things directly, but you are not mistaken. Although the slave swords can't leave the western region, just in case we do this. Well, the slaves may not be able to escape, but just in case, we make sure that they don't have any usable money. <laughs> yeah, that would make it difficult. So, with this, they lose their will to run away. Hmm. Clever. So then, we'll talk about the guild points that you're going to receive. Normally, we talk about the Port of Black first, but since you went to the Valley of Scattered Feed first. Oh, how surprising. So, try and refrain from running naked into a nest of monsters from now on. Normally, you'd come to this place and as preparation, you give your guild points and then you can get some weapons. Uh, how convenient. It looks like we won't be able to walk the the path that normal people walk here. <laughs> yeah, they say curiosity killed the cat, but you, if I had to say, you're more like a dog. She's got this scandalous smile on her. Mm. Trickster smile on her. <laughs> so, she continues her explanation. <laughs> So the stuff that you gather in the dungeon, in the labyrinth, whatever it is, once you return to the surface, we, the East Cordia Interceptor Clan, Interceptor Group, will assess it and reward you accordingly. So we'll take it from you and investigate it. And in accordance with its value, award you the guild points. So, the recovery of our 
of all of our goods is enforced. So, well, yes, but once you've given it up, even so, you can get it back in your hands again. And naturally, using these guild points, right? <laughs> mm-hmm, that's right. In order to buy back the things that are valuable, it'll cost you a little. So, what I receive, I get to continue using as my own once I pay for it. But, in the Port of Black, if you continue earning, you can probably prepare a good arsenal. So, in order to have a make an effective battle, we're going to have to earn a good deal of money. So, even slaves, if they collect enough guild points and pay them, can become free citizens and even rise to being assault soldiers. So, guild points can buy anything in this kingdom. If you earn a lot, you can earn for yourself, you can buy people's lives, and you can heal your body when it's been injured in battle. Well, great. Hey. <laughs> so, she pulls on her dress a little bit and shows something hidden inside. Hey, <laughs> you look pretty expensive. I well, she says she likes strong men. In your case, we could enter into some negotiations. Of course. On the bed. On a... Yeah, the bed stand. Hey. She is a pretty good looker. And naturally it would cost a lot. Mm. So this Sheriera. Yeah, she seems highly pr highly priced. Okay. Regarding these sexual negotiations, I'm going to refrain. For now, I want to quickly get out of being a slave. So if you say, for now, that means that someday you'll be interested in looking at me. Huh, yeah. If I don't have something else, maybe I'll consider it. She seems like she'd be pretty popular with the slave swords and the assault soldiers. Assault fighters. So, drawing up her back. She seems to gather a lot of uh, 
people's sights. A lot of glances, right. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> She's got enough confidence for it. And obviously she knows it. She smiles seductively and sits her dress proper again. <laughs> Well, she's happy about that. So, someday, she'll look forward to being somewhere, just the two of them. Heh. <laughs> So, she calms down and returns to her regular mode of conversation. Slip Swords, going to the Port of Black, get to defeat monsters, and according to that, get their guild points. But also aside from defeating monsters, if you find things that are useful to the city, or undiscovered areas, or explore in undiscovered areas, you also get your own a share of guild points for those. あ、ちなみに貢献賞は他国での川崎引きもできないから注意が必要よ。自由民になったらそういった制限も解放されるのだけれどね。Oh, and by the way, the guild points can't be so can't be exchanged into other kinds of into other kingdoms. So, take care there. If you become one of the free folk, that limitation will be released, though. Oh, I see. Understood. As expected, as a slave, there are lots of limitations. But still, Jedal. You were able to come home safely from that battlefield. That demon calamity you see is really dangerous. We can give you a good value for surviving it, but... People who don't have the power would simply die. That big force of monsters coming out, does that happen often? No. Regularly in the vicinity of the town, it doesn't happen much. Normally, the place where the demon pressure builds up is in the Port of Black, and it happens there. But, differently from in the Labyrinth, since it was in the valley floor there, our counterattack with the knights went a little easier. Since we were able to clean it up quickly, that's a good thing. So that's why the knights were able to respond so quickly, because it wasn't within the labyrinth. If I want to participate normally, 
あんな危険な戦いに好き好んで参加する人はほとんどいないから現役障害が認めた人しか参加が許されていないのよ There aren't a lot of people who would like to get into that kind of violent battle. So, the only people. Hmm, weird. They say that people don't like to do it. So, this interceptor group only lets people that they recognize participate. That's why I'm not going to get the money. 罪を犯した人が強制的に参加させられるのまあその大概は死んじゃうんだけれどねそう、it's people who have borrowed money and can't repay and the criminals that have committed crimes that are forced to participate well most of them die though ah it's a rough life That's a little different than what I expect, than what I was trying to ask there. Well, anyway, in the interceptor group here, only people, only participants that they recognize can get permission. Jebel-chan was not participating in the way, but you were able to do it in the way of your life. So, the interceptor group is a good thing. Yeah, although you didn't participate in the regular manner this way, thanks to you, it got done a little fast. We, yeah, we came, became aware of it a little faster. So, your reward in guild points is just a little increased. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this, so don't tell anyone, okay? All right. It's a secret between you and I. Seems she likes that. So, she smiles. Sate, seccaku kokeen shou wo moratta n da kara, tamesi ni nani ka katsuyou shite mimashou ka. So, you've received your guild points. To test it out, would you like to get anything? <laughs> so you can even buy back your own stuff. I'll teach it all to you. Here, here. Uh, 1370. A tutorial. How oh, nice. Oh, oops, I accidentally closed the tutorial. <laughs> oh. Well, those are the things I've done. And here are the things I can buy, I guess. Oh, another tutorial? I know how to buy things. I've played RPGs before. Oh. That's actually kind of important. The stuff that you see over on the right will only stay there for nine days. Once that's passed, they disappear. Well, that's important. I didn't think the yeah, time passage would actually mean anything. Mm -hmm. Things disappear at the nine-day limit according to how old they are. And in order to pass the time, you go back to your cot and sleep. All right. 
Good thing I know enough there. Okay, I've got a commenter in the chat telling me I should buy the potion bottle back. They're really useful. I guess. I don't know how to play this game. Honestly, I've... Like I said, this is blind. <laughs> These are kind of expensive, but they're also kind of good. And then there's this thing. It still has zero uses. Well, whatever. Let's buy the good stuff I found way back when. Ah, oh, nuts. Okay, the good items I'm going to keep. Strangely, this really good sword I had in the beginning battle is considerably worse than the good sword I found yesterday. <laughs> okay, let's not overthink this. I got clarif clarification from the guy in the chat, so I guess that's well, good enough for me. Okay, did I buy it? No, I didn't. There. A purchase. Anything else? Um, nothing jumps out at me. How nice. <laughs> Looks like you know how to use your guild points. Oh, yeah, really? Like I've never used money before. So, from now on, you can head to the Port of Black through this area. The Protector Interceptor. Uh, meeting place. Clearing. もし一人で迷宮に潜るのが不安だったら、ここで仲間を雇ってみるのはどうかしら。相手が提示している貢献証があれば、参加してくれるかもしれないわ。And if you don't go, want to go wandering into the labyrinth by yourself, if that makes you uneasy, you can also hire allies to go with you. If you've got the guild points that they request, they can participate. Huh. Hiring allies. Kind of like mercenaries. That's right. And the hard ends will be paid. Yeah, you pay them and you get the Rewards for the mission, I guess. And in that case, can I be hired by someone else? Well, the slaves and the assaulters kind of work automat are automatically registered, so people might approach you, yes. But basically, in order to be taken as someone ally, uh, taken as someone's ally, it requires your consent. So, if you don't want to be employed by someone, you won't be forced to. Okay then. I'll remember that. Ah, so that's it. Lacey's 
潜れる迷宮の階層に制限があるの許されている範囲以上は言っちゃダメよ Ah, furthermore, the slave swords have restrictions on the areas of the labyrinth that they can go down into. You can't go into places that we're not allowed, okay? Huh? Why is that? The slave swords have restrictions on the areas of the labyrinth that they can go down into. You can't go into places that we're not allowed, okay? Huh? Why is that? The slave swords have restrictions on the areas of the labyrinth that they can go down into. The rule of the slave swords is to go into the shallower areas and cut down the number of monsters. So we can't just leave you to your own devices and acting on your own judgment. You could get caught up down there and we'll lose our investment in you. Ah. Slaves are capital too, is the deal. <laughs> まあどこへ行ってもあなたが遭遇した魔のサイオンよりは安全だから下手な真似をしなきゃ死ぬことはないけれどね。Well, no matter where you go, you who accidentally ended up in the demon calamity will find it much safer than that. And just don't screw up and you won't die. Right? Right. 黒の子もいいけれどまずは。So it'd be nice going to the Port of Black, but perhaps first you'd like to take a look at the town. Well, do your best. Oh, a quest given by the East Cordia. I need to collect ten items, and if I do it, I get a hundred guild points. Another thing. Defeat a certain type of spirit, ten of them. Defeat ten monsters. Explore four zones in the Port of Black. Oh, in addition to the money, it gave me an item. So I seem to understand. I've got a grasp, grasp on. I've got a grasp on this town here. But there's also things I haven't seen. According to what I've heard, I can go through there to go into the town. And through that way is where the slaves stay, the container of slave swords. And through there is the underground labyrinth. Before going there, I should get, I should prepare all my stuff. Huh. So, Shalia likes guys like Jedi. Nothing to say there. Gameplay wise, we learned about how we earn currency and how we can acquire items permanently, and contrary wise, why we don't keep what we find. Probably just as well. With such a small inventory, we'd probably sell most of the crap we found anyway. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time when we start to explore another area.